right, so the first thing you're going to need is to measure out two and a half cups of sugar, and we're going to put it into this pot. And here we go. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar we're putting in here. Oops. Okay, that's two cups right there. And then uh, another half a cup. Okay. All right, and this goes in here too. And then get one cup of water. Show in here now. And you can see I'm going to put this in here. And you see how the sugar starts dissolving right away and just sinks in there. And I got myself a wood spoon because I know it's going to get really hot. So I'm kind of stirring it around. And now I'm going to turn on the stove and turning it up pretty much to high here. And uh, we're going to let this get hotter and hotter until it gets to a boil. So you can see it's getting thinner now and getting hotter. In fact, a lot of it's dissolved at this point. But uh, we're going to let this go until we get a little boil. Here it is, starting to boil. And you'll see, look at how it's starting to foam up. And at first you might think that this is going to boil over. But in fact, in just a moment or so, it should suddenly clear up. And we're going to wait for it. See, now the bubbles are starting to uh, go down again. Okay. Oh, wow. And now you can see, I'm going to turn this off now. You can see now we've got a nice clear, a nice clear solution. So I'm going to take this off. And then, and hopefully your jar isn't going to break, but I'm using this uh, flask and I'm just going to pour this in here now. And I have a little left over, but that's okay. It looks like urine. A little bit brown because the you know it's like caramel. The uh, sugar right. gets a little bit brown. Okay, and now I'm gonna let this sit really for about uh, probably an hour, an hour and a half, just to uh, get it uh, um, to cool off. In the meantime, I've prepared the uh, a string and a weight and a stick that I'm going to be placing into here. But what I've done already is that I've wet the strick and then I placed it in here and kind of rolled it around in the sugar. There's some sugar in here. And I let it dry so that now there are little uh, sugar crystals. You probably can't see them on the string. All right, now I'm gonna just put a loose cover on it like this. Um, I still want some airflow, but I wanna keep the dust out and I also wanna prevent it from cooling too quickly on the surface because I like it to cool more uniformly. So I've let this thing cool down a little bit. And now, I'm going to place the string and weight in. And you can see how it uh, goes down about two-thirds, three-quarters of the way. And I'm going to make sure I center it. And then I'm going to put that loose cover back on. And then we're going to watch that for about two weeks. All right, it's been about two weeks here, so I'm going to pull this out. Why don't you come over and look at this? You can see there's a crust on the top. That's okay. And I'm trying to pull this out, and I can feel it doesn't want to... Whoa, there we go. Kind of came out here. Well, it's a lot smaller looking than it looked yeah. like when it was in there, but that's okay. So sometimes you really can't pull it out very well. In that case, you know, just go ahead and crush the top little layer. Um, sometimes what you can do is pour out the goop and then, uh, and then pour some hot water around the edges and that will eventually let it uh, 
release. For now, I'm just gonna put this over here and let it hang and dry. Okay, so this is now pretty dry, looks good, but I'd like to get rid of this stuff up here so the crystal looks nicer. So I'm gonna bring it over to the sink. Some of this I can just break off like that. But if you want it to, if you really want to shape it exactly the way you want, you can create a little stream of very hot water. I've already preheated this. And just kind of run it over the where you want it to go away and just kind of sculpt it in a way with the hot water. And that's pretty good like that. And now I'm just gonna put it in here and let it do its final drying. And uh, we've got a complete crystal.